In the late 1920s, Edwin Hubble stated his many years of observation as a law. This was that the velocity with which galaxies move away from us is directly proportional to their distance from us. And so a graph plotting velocity against distance is a straight line. The velocity of galaxies was calculated from the redshift. One way of explaining this shift towards the red end of the spectrum is by the Doppler effect. The light is stretched out as the galaxy moves away. This is the same effect as the change in note of a passing car. As it passes, the note becomes deeper as the waves are stretched out. There is, however, a more subtle and more satisfactory explanation. Imagine a universe like a balloon, with galaxies not only spread around the surface, but through the centre as well. This model is a snapshot of an early universe that has only expanded a small amount since the Big Bang. Between the galaxies, energy passes in the form of waves. Now, if we move on through time, the universe expands. The galaxies themselves don't expand. They are held together by gravitational attraction. But the space between the galaxies expands, and with them, the waves which are travelling between the galaxies are stretched out. It follows, then, that the change in the wavelength of the waves is directly proportional to the amount that the universe has expanded. So, back to the graph, which is in effect a statement of Hubble's law. In this relatively simple form, we're assuming that the velocities of the galaxies are constant and that the universe expands uniformly in every direction. Nevertheless, the theory was and is a major step forward in our understanding. The distances were measured using another standard method, largely that of using Cepheid variables. The velocities of the galaxies were measured by using the degree of redshift of their spectra. You can see that the further the galaxy is away, the faster it is moving away from us. And that relationship is proportional because the graph is a straight line. The gradient of this line is a constant, and it is called Hubble's constant, given the symbol h naught. From this we get the equation v equals h naught multiplied by d, where v is the velocity away from the Earth and d is the distance from the Earth. The values of this constant h naught have been much disputed over the last 80 years. But if the velocity of the galaxies moving away from us is measured in kilometres per second, and their distance from us is in megaparsecs, then the generally accepted value of h naught is about 71. Going back to the original equation, and then rearranging that, we can calculate distance from d equals velocity over Hubble's constant, which is v over 71. So if we measure the redshift of some new galaxy, and then from that calculate its velocity, we can in turn calculate its distance from us. Thank you for watching. Further notes are available on the website.